Welcome back to Okage, Shadow King. We're in the sky, and last time I lied. Um, so I mentioned that we could not actually get to the far side of the desert, where there were some more things that I wanted to get. We can. So that's what we're doing today. I also mentioned that the Phantom Evil King was probably hiding at the bottom of the deep something. Um, don't think he is. Oh, wow, immediately. That's how we're starting this. Um, this is not the party that I want for this, actually. Perfect. I'm going to be running away from almost every fight, so I'm grabbing Kisling and Linda because they give the most LP. Um, in other news, I also did a lot of grinding. The whole party is now level 41, and we're ready to kick some butt. Probably on the verge, Ari's probably on the verge of 42. But yeah, um, so last time I misremembered, and there's something that I saw in the maze that I thought was impassable, but it turns out you can, in fact, go through it. So I'm gonna be running in and not getting into a fight. So the, um, spoilers, that last fight I got into, I actually tried to fight. Round one, Kissling died, so living up to his reputation. And then I realized I hadn't actually rested after changing the party member, so my LP wasn't full, so I had to run back to town anyway. So, hooray for round trips. So, back in this desert area, we got a tiny gear here. Go all the way down here. And I thought this was impassable, but you can actually go through this doorway here, leading to a new section of the maze. This is the southern part of the maze. Got a little thing here. Can't do anything with it. Sad. Oh. Forget what I was saying. Got distracted. Um, anyway, this is the exit to the south half of the maze, so that's cool. I'm going to keep going, though, because I think there's some items. That is exactly what it looks like it is. I'm going to hang a right here, because I think there's some exploring to do in this direction. I hit a... Okay, nothing actually here. Cool. We can go back this way. I may or may not be lost. Nope, not lost. Item up here. Hey! New weapon for Linda. Uh, let's see here. Mike O. Oh, happiness. Ooh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. That's a big hole. Okay, so there's also... Uh, something? Yeah, there we go. I was going to say also a path over here, but there's not really. Um, that's kind of everything. That's the whole bot south half of the maze. I don't think I've ever actually fully explored the top half. I think there's a chest that I'm missing. So we are, we are indeed running the opposite direction of the stell, and that's because there's stuff down here that I want. There are nice things, and I like nice things. Whoa. Okay, so we get this big face. What I'm looking for is this thing right here. That is a tiny gear. Oh, we're not done yet, though. There are, to my knowledge, two more... Wait a minute, do I have enough time to eat tiny gears? Thirty! I got thirty! There's two more tiny gears. I'm gonna go grab one right now. I don't know if I can get to the last one right now. It's in this area, but I don't know if I can reach it right right away. Whoa! So let's just careen over this way and see what kind of trouble we can get into. As I glance at the map and hope a monster doesn't spawn in front of me right as I'm doing it. Alright guys, I gotta go through that door. That is a heal book. 
and a cutscene. Because that is a tower. Not like a real cutscene, but, you know, gear tower. Uh, not gonna save right now. Oh man, they got that, got that focal length. So, oh, I made it, wow. Can't see crap, but I made it. There is the 31st Tiny Gear. The very last Tiny Gear, I think, is actually on the friggin' tower. I think. And we're gonna have to go up there for plot reasons, so I don't know if I'm so inclined to climb up that tower right now. I don't know, we're already here, let's be dumb. I'm just running away from literally every fight anyway. I don't see how to climb this tower. We probably have to go inside, would be my guess. Um, which means... Oh, I can go this way. Wow, it's down here! I thought it'd be, like, way up top! There it is, though! That's all the tiny gears! We did it! Out of the way. Out of the way. There's a ghost over there. I don't know where I am. Okay, so we got the save point. That was over here. And by save point, I mean tiny gear because I did not completely confuse myself in the middle of my own sentence. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Uh, we also did get the actual save point, which is right there behind me. And the only thing left, it left for us is the Stell. No, camera, go higher, go higher. I can't judge depth. I knew it! I saw his shadow in the glow of the glow of the rock. Hey, now we don't have to go through the whole maze and all of that crap anymore if we want to go to the right-hand side. And if we want to go back to town, we can just use the white one and enter from there. I'm not actually going to be going back to town right away, though. Because I have a minimum of 30 gears. And I can't tell which direction I'm going. And there are already monsters while I'm lost. Can y'all, like, leave me alone for three seconds? I want to go through a gate. So there's a house down here. We stopped by before, and a guy was just kind of ranting about gears. So that's where we're going, if I can make it. Just, just let me get... I did it! Challenge. Every time. Hey, you! Uh, that's not who I am, but... I'm not that either. I'm, I'm not that one either. You know what? You know what? You you keep doing you. I'm just gonna be over here equipping this thing you gave me. The Sword of Gear. Okay, so it lowers our luck by two, but man, that attack and defense boost. That's 25 more attack than what we already have. Uh, the Sword of Gear is Ari's most powerful weapon. That is his ultimate weapon. So we're actually getting some, like, ultimate level gear here. This isn't... There is still another leg or so of our journey, so not everyone's getting everything just yet.
why Rosalind showed up. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Okay, I always liked KT. Even as a kid when I played through this game, I really liked KT. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it. Oh, so this guy talks different after you have Rosalind's thing. So he's got some real friggin' good equipment. I bought some of it. Not worrying, of course, about Ari's weapon because we have it already. We already have Rosalind's most powerful weapon. I did, I think, get the Worldly Ghost for Kinsling. So, technically, we still need the latest outfit for Ari. He needs better armor. I think I did get the Hero's Armor, armor for Rosalind. I got the stately coat for Kinsling. So, yeah, he got one-shotted in that fight, and he's wearing the best armor I can have on him right now. Technically need the blood and sweat pants. And I think that's it. So blood and sweat pants, and latest outfit. That's like 100k. Not even. That's like 90k. I mean, still, I'm poor right now, but I figured I'd show off what we're dealing with. Uh, so, going through this next dungeon area is actually a really good source of money. So, all those things that I can't afford will be able to soon. Ish. Much better. Get our two actual powerhouses here. So while I was grinding, I did actually run into the save glitch, which I mentioned before. It is very randomly, the exact cause is uncertain, but very rarely, when you save your game, it won't save your- it'll, like, delete your save instead of saving. So, it, when you go back to check, there's just no save game. And that's, you know, kinda rough. Um, thankfully, what I was doing was grinding in here, um, because there was no cutscene to come in, so I kind of snuck in and grinded in here. And I would kill one enemy save, kill one enemy save, kill one enemy save. And since I didn't have to load when I went to save the next time, I, I noticed there was just no save. It was gone. Blank. So, thankfully, nothing lost. I just saved again, and that's also why I keep, like, 500 backup saves. So, speaking of 500 backup saves, let's put one right here. And then let's go exploring. This is a heck of a dungeon. Um, and I genuinely mean that. So you can see an urn out there in the center. We just have to, like, figure out how to get to it. Okay. Um... Those guys in the middle can steal money and run. So if you want to keep your money and potentially experience, they are pretty high priority. However, if you want to not have an absolutely miserable time of life, that elephant over there on the right is your number one priority, because he will put your party to sleep, which loses a turn. And he can do it every turn, so you just never get a turn. It's not so bad in this fight, because there's only one of him, but there's another group of these guys where you run into three of them at once, and, like, good luck. Um, Ari, I'm gonna have him use Overdrive. Um, you can burst everyone... Big Bull can combine on Eben's Slumber. This will hopefully kill most of the masks. Sure did. That killed the elephant, and all is good in life. 
I'm gonna have Ari wait this turn, even though, like, everyone else is still holding up, just because, as I mentioned before, waiting in queue takes so long that you might as well just wait. Because if I go ahead and attack, everybody else's bars will probably be filled up and ready to act by the time I he actually does anything anyway. Actually, actually I was right, because um, the guy would have... Like, now is when Ari would be running over to attack that guy, because he would have been waiting in queue. It should kill him. A combo attack will kill pretty much every enemy in this dungeon. 41 is a pretty decent level, but not... Things can still be dangerous. Hey. I said everyone was 41. I think just Ari was 41. Everyone else was 38. I mean, it's kind of hard to avoid. Okay, so let's kill some urns. Same urns as always. Nothing fancy. Kill all the urns. Open the door. So also of note, um, when you leave a dungeon and go back... Ow. When you leave a dungeon and go back in, the monsters will start spawning again. Even if they stopped spawning for whatever reason your previous run through. And on top of that, the urns come back. You do not have to destroy the urns in order to open the gate. So you can just go straight to the bottom of the dungeon. And any of the doors or anything that you've, op that you've opened with the green switches also stay open. So, like, the only thing you get out of killing the urns a second time is money and experience. And let me actually tell you, the money and experience that you get for killing urns is not to be sneezed at. Um, from the urns alone powering through this dungeon, we're going to end up with, like, more than 100k. Okay, so that was that one. Funny little maze of somethings here in the middle. Okay, so I'm a little lost, but I have some vague idea of what I'm trying to do, and that's get items. And break urns. Like any true hero. Look, I just fought an urn. Can you all leave me alone? That was three. So there's one more somewhere. I don't even think I can get to the last one from here. So let me get off and go around. Find a get get to it from this side. Hooray! So before we do that, I want to run up here because there should be one more chest. Get to revive item. Okay, that should do us from here, so we can re head on back. Door to the next floor is open. We can save right here. The stairs down are thankfully right next to both the save point and the entrance to the dungeon. And it's like that because this dungeon is nine floors deep. Um, if you want to make sure your game didn't save glitch, by the way, just after you save. Don't save again, just check. And you see, it's physically there. You did it. Until next time, everyone. When we go down eight more floors.